Are you, Brooke, are you being photographed from my angle? Because you got a bright yeah, light behind no, your head. Yeah, no, I'm not. No. They've got all of the cameras. Down. Okay, yeah. This is yeah. just for, But thanks for watching out for me, bro. Like, oh, you know. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm not sure you would have done that for anybody else but me, so I appreciate it. It's a Thing. Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. You got Lanai and that's Brooke Lee. Yeah. Today we got a very special guest uh, with us. This is a good one because I've been wanting to ask this guy so many questions. Yeah, well. I'm such a fan. Yeah. Uh, this show brought to you by the Star Advertiser, bringing you what matters. It's a Hawaii Thing. Viewers can now receive the Star Advertiser's full digital access. Mm. Just go to our website, StarAdvertiser.com. Yeah. What's the code? A high thing. That is it. Also, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Mm -hmm. uh, for all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Just visit at the website mm -hmm. hificu.com and Kamehameha Schools. Of course. Yes, we got to thank them. Of course. Uh, Kamehameha Schools building communities for a brighter tomorrow. Uh -huh. And today's guest, I'm going to give him a big uh, introduction, okay? Uh -oh. okay? Are you ready? Buckled in. He, I mean, he deserves, he has so many things <laughs> that he's got on. 1992, uh, he was on Map of the Human Heart. Mm -hmm. uh, 1987, uh, he was on Born in East L.A. Mm -hmm. uh, um, 1993, this was my year, man. He played Bruce Lee, and he did it better than anybody ever could. Okay. And uh, they should have put him in the documentary that they just did. In wow. 1994, he starred in Jungle Book. 94, he did Rapa Nui. Um, he also did Picture Bride. Um, gosh, he did Hawaii Five-0. Uh, Lilo and Stitch. You skipped a very big um, movie, by the way. But um, I'm, I'm Jungle Book. He did, uh, uh, he played uh, Tale of the Mummy. He was in Murder in Mine. He was in, uh, in a mini series called Arabian exactly, Nights. Bro. He was in Rapa Nui, okay. uh, one of my favorite movies too. Uh, just so many things. We'll talk more. Jason and then, Scott Lee, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to leave it there? You're not even going to end with Mulan? Like Mu what? And, and, uh, well, that's a current thing. I was okay. going to talk about Mulan. And then oh, there was a little. Jason oh, Scott okay. Lee, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing, brother? Nice to see you. Shaka, you aloha. still look the same. You look the same, bro. Good to be here. You still look, you don't age at all. Don't what is? Age. What are you drinking or what is going on? He's a vampire. Man, I think, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, maybe good genes. One is good genes. Good genes, yeah. good genes. Two is probably good living. And uh, yeah. and I, I'll, give, I'll let you in on a secret. Okay. Chinese longevity herbs. There you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Chinese wow. longevity herbs. Okay. I tell you, man, I swear by them. <laughs> okay. And you went to Pearl City. Yeah, um, you forgot Back to the Future, bro. I, well, we still we have we're still talking to him, right? Yes. Yeah. But oh, I'm just saying, that up. in your intro, you well, skipped over. Well, the like... problem was with this show, you got 24 minutes. If I read his whole resume, That's we would true. have two minutes. That's left. true. You'd be All right. here for a long time. <laughs> as, um, you know, Jason, do, you know, do you remember when we met? No. Just say yeah, no. that was a while ago, huh? <laughs> do you, no, do you remember where? No. We were in Bobby McGee's. Wow. The nightclub. Holy you God. and your brother oh my and God. my friend Nestor, who you're friends with, and right? we were drinking. Wait, so this is your older brother, obviously, Stuart. Is this yes. The, okay. Yeah. We were drinking, and you just got home from filming Bruce Lee. And, and, oh. and, and you were like, I just got home doing this because you were like ripped, and I was like, well, you're in good shape. You go, oh, you just did a movie, and I didn't know who you were yet. And you uh, just, and then, ah. and you didn't really. I mean, you're so humble. You didn't really say any much about it. How do you and know his it, brother? And then it came out. His Nestor is his brother's friend. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nestor from Japan, our uh, friend from Japan. Okay. And yeah. then anyway, we hung out that night. And then when the movie came out, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> That guy. You killed this movie. I'm a Bruce Lee fanatic. Bruce I met Lee. him when I was <laughs> five, four years old. I met him. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Now, did you get oh. to, did you work with the, the family during this process? I know it was a while ago, but I got to Yeah, ask. yeah. No, um, Linda, Linda Lee was, was uh, an, an advisor on the film. Uh -huh. And then uh, her daughter, Shannon, played in the film and she was on set. That's right. And she'd uh, come around from time to time. Um, and then, um, yeah. Uh, and I and Linda wanted me to go around to all the Bruce's students to kind of hang out, you know, just kind of get the vibe of, of yeah. and, and get what, you know, some uh, insight into into the man. So. Yeah. But it's interesting because people don't know that you learned uh, Jeet, Kune Jeet Kune Do in what, like three months or something. Mm. How long did you take to learn that? Yeah, I mean, I would say a good month i was able to kind of make it look good but you don't really yeah you don't it's a lifetime thing you don't really learn it in like a you know a short time right. yeah i mean i, I stayed with my seafood was jerry Pursu, 
I stayed with him for a good 15, geez, 15 plus years um, yeah. uh -huh. after the film, right. uh, just because it became a huge part of my life. Yeah. But that, that, that was, you know, that, it just, it turned my life around both, both uh, philosophically and, um, and knowledge of, of physics and in, in the body. And, uh -huh. you know, it, it was such a life changing experience that even now, like I'm teaching my daughter. Who's no. there, so, Are you really? You know, it's, it, yeah, it's awesome That's to awesome. see, you know, from, yeah. from baby steps, you know, yeah, see yeah. her going by baby steps and just going, wow, you know, and, you know, gently, gently urging her to go, you know, find the right uh, uh, positions and stuff. And it's cool. <laughs> How did the audition she's, she's come she's about? Do they go and I mean, did you have to go and everybody audition? Yeah, like, I know I have to step in for a second. Yeah, this is like why I love him so much. I mean, I love you. You know, you were like bros, but <laughs> Like everybody wanted this role. Correct I me bet. if I'm wrong, right, Ra? Like everybody yeah, you, even, wanted this role. I work with I work with I work with Donnie Yen twice on the, the uh, Crouching Tiger sequel and uh, Mulan. Oh, that's is like, right. Dude, you don't know how bad I wanted that. Yeah. Role. Uh, <laughs> every like, Asian in Hollywood you know, was everybody. Gunning. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta because take it was a, a quick Hollywood break. take on it. It wasn't. It was. It was in a Hong Kong take. It wasn't. Uh, yeah. 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 Know, I'm sorry. Break. We gotta take a quick break, Jason. Don't go anywhere. This show brought to you by the Star Advertiser. We'll be right back with It's a Hawaii thing. Hey, welcome back to It's a Hawaii thing. Jason Scott Lee is hanging out with us. We're talking about Bruce Lee, my idol. Uh, did you? What's your favorite Bruce Lee movie? My favorite Bruce Lee movie? Yeah. Dragon the Bruce Lee story. <laughs> the, your, your movie? <laughs> I think the one I did, but, you know, it's just, oh, you mean, but, no, I mean, oh, you mean Bruce Lee's movies. Um, yeah, Bruce Lee's gosh, movies. Bruce Lee's movies, I would say The Chinese Connection. Chinese mm. Connection. That's a good one. Yeah. Enter the Dragon is mine. Okay. Um, gosh, what was it, what was it like when you got that call and you got it? Like, do you remember where you were? Did you throw a party? W what happened? Uh, I was in shock, actually. Were you in shock? Um, well, it, it was a long lead up into it because uh, the director and the, the studio folk had given me the script to read. And I actually postponed reading it for like at least like, gosh, two, three weeks almost. Wow. And they were they kept hounding me about how many I said, you know what? It's like I, I could totally ruin my career right now. I was like 24, 25 years old. And I was like, you know, I could if I botched this. Yeah, it would be a big botch. It would, I don't know if I could come back from it. And um, so I was really hesitant. And um, because I knew I didn't have martial arts training back then. I knew I was athletic. Um, but, you know, and, and the director, Rob Cohen, kept coaxing me, hey, read it, read it, read it. So I finally read it. And then I said, oh, my God, this is ridiculous. Um, I was overwhelmed. Yeah. Um, and then when we started training for the uh, screen test, which was about, I think, four weeks of training, something like that, four or five weeks. Um, that was a debacle. And, and, <laughs> and so I was like completely on guard about actually doing this. We finally came to some kind of meeting point where they promised me I would train with um, uh, one of Bruce's students and, you know, gain the, the intrinsic knowledge that it would take to actually feel like Bruce felt. Uh -huh. kind of trained the way he trained so i had some sensibility going in which was i think um sufficient for the film but yeah. you know it's like that's why i kept on with the practice because i know it wasn't sufficient for myself um but i think for what hollywood does and how they um you know uh present things it's uh, it was sufficient I don't think anyone, I only associate you with Bruce but, Lee. I can't, um, nobody else could do that role. Nobody. Well, because here's else. the thing. Like, like, like I said before, so many people wanted that role. And yeah. in Hollywood in general, that's the good thing about Jason is he wasn't a martial artist who became an actor. Yeah. He was an actor. Right. Whereas a lot of these guys who are auditioning, like no disrespect to them, but they were martial artists who became actors. So right, they came right. out of the stunt world. So they had a lot of bit of a chip on their shoulders about him getting the part because they weren't like black belt guys yeah. and he wasn't a Taekwondo guy and he wasn't, he didn't have the background, but he had the acting chops. Yeah. So he brought to the table the inner life and then they helped him dress up the martial arts part of it. Right. And he is athletic enough that you could do it. But the guys that didn't get the role that were martial artists were bitter. I'm they sure. were oh, bitter. Yeah. 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 I, I took a lot of hits, you yeah. know, because they said, oh, you know, he's not this, he's not that. Yeah. It's like, um, you know, so I took the training very seriously. You know, yeah. I, I told I told my Sifu, Jerry Poti, I told him, you know, when he was given to me, I, and I, well, I, he wanted to do it, he wanted to train me. 
He said, you know, I, I told him three things. I said, was he a young master? He says, yes. Uh -huh. I said, can you teach me to do what he did or can you teach me the abilities that he had or, or that kind of thing? And he said, if you listen to me and, you know, then, you know, we can do it and just, just follow my lead. Uh -huh. I said, okay, there's something wrong with my camera. It's kind of like... Or something. <laughs> just, just so everyone knows, you're, he's in volcano. That's in Jerry. Island. That's Jerry yeah. saying hi through yeah. the camera. He's saying, What's up? <laughs> One yeah. of those. Yeah. Hey, we, we love you. <laughs> All right, let's switch switch gears real quick. You did Jungle Book. Um, Jungle Book was, uh, I think, uh, huge for you because now that you know a different audience, obviously, you're in the Disney and machine. you're in the Disney, yes, yeah. in the Disney world. Yeah. Uh, how did you like doing that? Well, back then, Disney wasn't the Disney they are now, and they, they haven't uh, conquered well, the world back then. Well, to kids it was. <laughs> that is to, true. To the kids it was, not maybe to on a business level or right. whatever, but to us it was. Yeah. You know? But it was a it was an iconic role. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, that, and, and you know, yeah, a lot of, you know, I, I was uh, I was a big fan of, of the, the kid that was raised by wolves, you know, in the stories yeah. I, I read. So yeah. in you my fantasy world mind, you know, it's like, wow, <laughs> this is the coolest thing. You know, playing Mowgli, he's one another one of my heroes. You know, yeah. like uh, fantasy heroes, and and um, you know, I think every kid dreams of like talking to the animals or like you know running with yeah. the wolf pack and this kind of thing. So, I thought, you know, I made I made a lot of funky decisions in my career based on just these like wishes. You know, these kind yeah. of like that's the way. That's like, how you put it out things. in the universe. Now, when you get the role, do you realize now that is another role that you have to take your shirt off? Does that like, uh, what you is know, that? now you become, yeah, a, because yeah. Because now you do Rapa I mean, Nui and you got to take I, your I, shirt off you know, again. Yeah. You, <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the trippy thing is that I, I've been ridiculed for that and criticized for that my whole career. And, you know, it's the thing you go up in Hawaii, you you're all you shirts shirt always 12 off. hours. Yeah. 12 hours at the beach with a pair of shorts and that's it. And yeah. so you're so comfortable, like, yeah. being that way all the time. Yeah. You're like, what's the big deal? Yeah, you know, well, I'm and, surprised and, um, people ridiculed you about it. That's why I asked because just hate yeah, I mean, but if, I think it was awesome. You know, I mean, if I had a beer belly and I was like, you know, like <laughs> overweight and like I'd, I'd be maybe a concern, but yeah. you know, it's maybe not that situation. But yeah. yeah, I mean, that was a that was a chance to work back then. There was wasn't a whole lot of CGI. CGI was just coming yeah. on the computer generated imagery. So we had to work with real animals. And I think yeah. that was probably one of the last times that, you know, a film got to bring on real animals right. and we interacted with the real thing. Yeah. Um, that was one of the incentives that brought me into that. I was like, wow, you know, they say that the, the two most difficult things to do in pictures is to work with kids, children and animals. And, animals, and so I thought, yeah. well, here's, it's challenging, you know, let's see yeah. what this is all about. Let's see what working with animals, wild animals, um, not domesticated. Uh, right. We'll see what that was. And it was challenging. I mean, it was like eye opening and, but you learn so much about animal behavior and about uh -huh. human behavior because of, you know, how, how what you learn from the animals. And, yeah. uh, you know, just just like that, how you scratch your head. When I, like things, you know? <laughs> I, was, I, you know, I was a huge fan of Bruce Lee, obviously, but Rapa Nui was one that I watched probably five or six times. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I was so fascinated. I'm fascinated with Easter Island. I'm uh -huh. fascinated with all of that. Um, did you spend time there? How did you get ready for that? Oh man, we had six months, six solid months over there, and it was awesome. I mean, I, yeah. I that was we, we had about forty actors who came over from New Zealand, uh, who were all Maori, and wow. um, you know, I got to be good friends with them. That 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 acceptance of that role was Julie was done because I wanted to investigate Polynesian roots, yeah. sort of a Polynesian experience, you know, because you know I grew up in a, a fairly Chinese household, um, uh -huh. Chinese Hawaiian, but you know, primarily Cantonese, so. Um, you know, this was like, oh man, you know, proud to be part Hawaiian. Like, let's yeah. try, you know, I want to try and be a Hawaiian or a Polynesian. And, yeah. you know, that was, the, you know, it's like that, that, and, and that worked out beautiful. The, you know, it was tough, tough. We're, shoot. We were hanging from the side of thousand foot cliffs. Yeah. And so a lot of, you know, I, I, I got to say a lot of my experiences in the film industry have been so amazingly challenging. Unlike so many other Asian Americans who no, do not get the opportunity Right. in that capacity and especially fulfilling lead title roles mm -hmm. yeah. those, those were like it, that's a it, it's a different it's a different animal when you when you project yourself on that level right yeah and um and you know it, it takes a lot out of you i mean it, it's a huge commitment commitment and is the it, word it, yeah. it's, 
a huge responsibility. But yeah, but I think, you know, it's like still this kind of like focus, you know, and you so, you know, is there, I'm able is, to, um, I was able to pull it off, you know, so, yeah. so many of these um, opportunities. Do, do your kids watch any of these shows? Uh, they've seen Dragon, they've seen Jungle Book, you know, they, they, they like it. Um, it's different. I mean, they, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what the percepti- perception is of it. They don't know if you're uh, cool or not um, yet. Or <laughs> but, you know, I think it'll come out when they get older. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, how old are your kids now? Uh, ten, two and a half, and one. Oh, you congratulations. Bruh. You got a brand new one, huh? Bruh. Yeah, wow. yeah. Good for you. Little, two girls two girls and a boy. They're little Aww. rascals. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, you got a lot of uh, movies to show them. I, I, it always interests me, like, if you did a, you know, what your kids think when they watch your movie mm. or, you know, how they react oh. to it or if they think you're. I mean, you know, I was. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised you're even showing in the movies. Like. I mean, that's why I think even at, at my age now, I wanted I really wanted to get that Mulan gig, you know, and at first it's like I, I, I was turned away and I'm like, oh, bummer, man. It's like, you know, it's like my kids are Chinese and, you know, it'd be, it'd be cool. You know, right. well, we, well, I want to talk the- about Mulan real quick. We'll take a quick break. So when we come back, we'll talk about that. Jason Scott Lee is hanging out with us. Woo-hoo. It's a Hawaii thing. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii thing. Jason Scott Lee hanging out with us. And we were talking uh, before the break about Mulan. Boris Khan, so, Tell us about that experience. You Boy. played a bad guy. Bad yeah, you- guy. You played a bad yeah. man. Yeah, no, I, 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 you know, the the role came up. I did a lousy Skype audition. I, I <laughs> totally bombed it, and like, you know, the 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 the, the producers got back to my, you know, agents and stuff. They said, "Oh no, he's not our guy," he's, you know, and that was like. Then a year later, and then they said, "Oh, they said, oh, you know, it's probably because of these Skype auditions, you know." And so they said, "Can he?" Yeah, no, he's not a guy, you know. Um, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna move on. It's like, okay, so a year later. You know, my family and I were living in Singapore at the time, and uh, we get the call like, "Oh, script has been revised a bit, character has been altered a little bit. Uh, they want you to do another take on it." Really? I was like, wow. Oh, geez, really? Okay, third time around. Okay, they jumping, they're making me jump through the hoops yeah, on this. Yeah, one. yeah. So, um, so I do it. I send it in. They said, "Okay, well, um, uh, the people at the studio are signed off on you. They want you." I said, "Guru, oh, wow, amazing." Director's not so sure. <laughs> so what? they said, you're going to have to fly fly down to New Zealand from Singapore. Fly down. You're going to have to do an in-person audition with, with the director on camera. And uh, if you get the part, you're going to have to stay for six months. In uh, New Zealand? I see. You're giving me like three days notice wow. to do that, right? Uh-huh. So I said, you know what? I'd love to go down, but... Stay down there is not going to happen. Yeah. I said, you guys can kind of, you know, lock out the deal. But I said, I can't stay there. I don't have any winter clothing. I need <laughs> and I said, and so they, they said they agreed. Wow. They agreed. Um, you go down there. If, if you get the part, we'll fly you back to Hawaii. You'll grab your winter things. And then you go back to Singapore, celebrate the birthdays for your wife and your daughter. Mm-hmm. And then you come back down. Nice. I said, okay, shoot. Wow. So I went down. I ran into, uh, you know, a bunch of the other actors who were playing the other characters. Um, and, um, I thought, wow, these guys, I know these guys. Right. And, and um, then I went, you know, got the part and did a whole round the globe thing back to Hawaii, back to Singapore, back to New Zealand. And then uh, we started pre-production. Wow. So you guys and shot I, that it? One, that one kicked my ass. So you that one you guys shot it? You, sh- you shot it in New Zealand? <laughs> part of it? In New Zealand, oh, the wow. whole thing. So you guys are what the it, whole thing. Why, why was it so you tough? You shoot in China. Not even once? Not one. Oh, wow. wow. I had no idea. Second unit. The second unit went, oh, to, went China to China oh, for like two weeks. Got two, it. Three, maybe two. But we none of the cast members. Oh, went. got it. Got and it. And like the, the director wanted me ripped, like sinewy ripped. So they put this trainer on me, yeah. and we went through this hardcore diet, hardcore training, seven days a week. I dropped forty pounds of fat because I was getting comfortable in Singapore eating all the fatty, wow. oily, tasty mm, food. That's so good. And uh, and then put on 40 pounds of muscle. So I kind of, you know, I just got stripped down. I, I was down to like 155, Dang. 145, 150. It's like, and then they put you in clothes. Like, what? I, I, <laughs> the hell? I didn't, I didn't even, I, I was 165 in Dragon. So can you imagine? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. were like even thinner. So, I mean, I, I, I couldn't even believe I did it at 53 years old. Right. It was, or 52, 53 years. It's like, 
Wow. I just remember, like Jason, insane. I just remembered something. I have the dragon movie poster at my house. The one with the, when you're jumping in the air. Super creepy. Yeah. Why well, yeah. No, I it? saved it okay. because there was, you were supposed to come on our radio show. I don't know if you remember Lanai and Augie. You were supposed to come on the show. So I saved it for you to sign it and I was going to frame it and I still have it somewhere. Hmm. But I got to get that to you, please. Creepy. Oh, yeah. Creepy. I got to get that to you. Oh, man. Shut your mouth. Creepy. You know, she goes crazy over five Korean guys who wear makeup, BTS, and I don't Whatever. call it creepy. <laughs> but we want to talk to you for so much. We have so many more questions for you, but we got to wrap up this part. If you want to catch the long version of the show, go to our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. We have some Ooh. enjoy snacks for you. You got to um, choose. Yeah, Spicy I got the, oh uh, or sweet? The sweet, because these were made out of our personalities, and she got the salty. Wow. So which one would you like? Jason, I know where you Oh, go. man. We have a contest going on. Come on. Which one would your I kids like? I do the like? salty. Oh, you do the salty? All right. Yes. <laughs> Palisades in the house. Palisades <laughs> in the house. You make, yes. you make her happy. Thank but you. But thank you so much, Yay. man, for joining us. Thanks You're, for being on you the show. Are you are by far one of my favorite actors, mm -hmm. not just because of Bruce Lee, oh, but because I'm brother. proud that you're from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And we had some drinks at Bobby McGee's. That's what I tell everybody. Mm -hmm. But uh, go. Back uh, in the days. Join us for the long version on YouTube. <laughs> it's a Hawaii thing. Aloha, Jason. <laughs> Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Thank you for subscribing. If you're on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button yeah. or Brooke will come to your house and clean out your no, refrigerator. Jason Scott Lee <laughs> is hanging out with us today. And we're talking about all these different movies he's been making and doing. And uh, boy, what a what a run. You know, before we took the break, you talked about Mulan uh, really kicking your ass. What was it? The travel or getting in shape? What was the one thing that really was was brutal? Get in shape. Getting in shape. Getting in shape. Because I knew, I knew, like, uh, you know, because I've been doing acting for, jeez, 30 plus years. Yeah. Um, so I knew emotionally I can hit notes. Okay. Emotionally I can hit notes. But as far as creating the physique for what the director wants, the vision that she sees, it's like that. It's like, oh my goodness, okay. We're going to have to take it, you know, to the wall on this. Yeah. And, and But it was good cause, because, you know, I love when something shakes you up and kicks your ass and makes you realize, like, hey, don't get too comfortable, man. It's yeah, like, yeah. you know, it's like challenges are still waiting you and you want to be, you want to be shaken up. You want to be woken up. You know, it's yeah. like, I think I was sleeping for a bit. So it's like, you know, that kind of put me in gear and got my metabolism going. I felt like Laird Hamilton, man. I oh, like, ripping. yeah. <laughs> See, look. look at it. You're all ripped so, right now. It's all that, na it's, it's all <laughs> yeah. that Nazi goreng but, and stuff in Singapore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it taught me a lesson, you know. Jason, to, to, Jason to why, why, did, why did you choose uh, living away from Hollywood? Because he's smart. <laughs> or, or even away <laughs> from Honolulu. Why, why did you choose the Big Island? I think uh, I did, uh, it's not my lifestyle, you know, to be in the city and, 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 you know, to always be hammered by people saying, hey, what's your next project? What's your yeah. next project? And, you know, it, it's like if you don't have anything going on, you start making shit up. <laughs> and you start pretending. I swear, you start pretending that <laughs> you, you so got funny. shit going on uh, and you don't have nothing going on. And it's like, and you don't, I didn't like the feeling of, of, of pretending, uh, you know, of being like, you know, and so I thought, you know, if I, and I had so many other interests and I still do. It's like, you know, my wife and I and, and our family, we have projections for dreams that we want to yeah. do. And it has nothing to do with the business. Yeah. So we try to really separate, you know, what business, that business, you know, I do my, I do my shtick and, and, and I put it together and, and, and I put a thousand percent into it. Every time I go out, uh -huh. I get injured all the time. Yeah. I had a major injury on Mulan. I busted out and blew up my knee. Oh, it's like, um, oh, it was like bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's taking me two years. You're right about two years for it to feel better. I, I did it all therapeutic. I didn't do any, you know, um, surgeries uh, or any of that operations stuff. and anything. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I, I, I avoided surgery. And then, you know, and I just did a film here on the Big Island. It was an indie film on uh, Kaluai Ko'olau. Oh, nice. I played uh, Ko'olau and we had to speak. Olelo Hawaiian. Uh -huh. Really? 90, 95% of my Shut dialogue. the yeah. front uh, door, brother. Oh, oh, it is like, it was hard. That was another challenge, right? right? Yeah. It's like, oh, I, I, I called the director. I was like ready to bail out. Aww. I was like, man, this is hard. Because right. we only had like three weeks, two, three weeks to do it, Aww. to to get the Hawaiian down right. before we started shooting. And so thinking in my career for as far as text, you know, working with uh, dialogue. And, right. Um, anyway, um, you know, I, I had a little foot injury on that as well. So and that's a lot I mean, of pressure, just, you know, too, for Olelo. 
You know, well, yeah. you, you get a lot of pressure because you you know you he's say the Hawaii. wrong you but say the wrong thing. Well, you can get the mail. But he's in. But he's also part Hawaiian. You're right. So. That's what I mean. It's more pressure on you to do it. Well, that's yeah, that's so awesome. We have to get it right. Do you want to uh, any plans on directing or anything or writing or doing your own film? Uh, I am. I have been writing. Um, I'm I'm with uh, a partner right now who's uh, he's. We're, we've been pitching all the big networks uh -huh. on a show that we want to shoot in Hawaii. Look nice. at you, brother. Uh, yes. Bringing it home. Yeah, Look at so you. It was, yeah, so it's fun to be on that side. Yeah, like, okay, yeah, yeah. creator, yeah. writer, you know, kind of like thing. And right. So I created the concept, and then he, he kind of piggybacked and kind of started creating this uh, lookbook for the networks. And so we're in the middle, of, but, but it's a true. Networks aren't really sure, like, what to grab onto. Uh -huh. And... Um, because they have a backlog of, of projects. So you bring a new project. It's like it has to like completely knock their socks off. Yes. Uh, otherwise, you know, it's like they got backlog of projects that they, they're, they've been wanting to put up. Right. So it, it, it's a really selective time and really tricky to kind of get a new show. But I think the concept's good. And I think it, it can, you know, it can work. And, it, you know, it, it'll be in Hawaii. And it, and it has to do with, you know, don't tell people. Stuff. Yeah, well, don't you know, tell that, well now Netflix made that possible too that to get stuff like this out. You know, we we had uh, Keiko um, on I, the show again, uh, again, um, again on the show. You know, the act, the actor who's done a million shows from Hawaii, Pearl City girl, and we were. I was talking about my dream is to see some of you guys come back because we have so much talented people in Hawaii that have gone to Hollywood and done their thing. To see all of you guys come back, get together, and, and instead of you know, a show like Hawaii Five O have all actors from L.A. would be nice to see a full cast of Pretending people to be from, from Hawaii. Here. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, so we got to get you guys all together. You know, the, Fili the Filipinos are doing it. The Chinese are doing it. You know, it would be good to get all the Hawaiians together and do something. Mm. You know, what do you think, Jay? Yeah. Huh? Can you can you uh, spearhead that, that, that? That's the thing. You know, I think there's so much there's so much uh, in depth culture and history. Yes. And uh, also, you know, my the show that I'm working on is it has to do with a lot of the mythology, oh. Look at you. but like uh, you know, bring it into a contemporary um, arena. So, yeah. um, you know, th there's so much there, especially the cultural stuff. There's so many layers yes. of, of different diverse things. And you know, and the word of the day now is diversity. I mean, yes. Hawaii could be a multi. Yes, and and, th and that's it the has been for. for Forever. That's the idea because you have this old movies of that movie called Hawaii. Where was it? Chamberlain. He did, and he talked about That's Richard Thorn, Chamberlain. You're thinking Richard, of thorn birds. No, Richard Chamberlain, the other one, Hawaii. And then what he did was, it's about the plantation days. That needs to be updated. When like the, when the Chinese came to Hawaii and the Japanese, Koreans, Filipinos, that whole generation. Well, but you know, instead of doing it from the white person's perspective, right. which is what has been from forever, ours, it, it should, should be, be from, from ours. The ethnic person. Where the food came from, yeah. that's huge. Yeah. Everyone's taking poke and. You know, our Kalua pig and Laula and all that. So the Food Network has really put, I think, Hawaii on the map when it comes to the food. Mm. And then you guys as individuals are putting Hawaii on the map as actors. And then we have our athletes. We got to put it all together now. Oh, look at you. You should run for office. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't want to run for office. I want to help you put this together. You should run for film office. J <laughs> yeah, maybe film office. <laughs> Jason, come on. Let's talk about this more. Because there's other people that feel the same way, other actors from Hawaii that... You know, I've oh, talked yeah. to them about it, and they're like, "I even met, yeah, I even met on the last project I did here on the Big Island. I even met like a lot of Samoan yes. actors mm. who yeah. are living in LA, um, you know, and 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 want to have roots in 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 Hawaii on Oahu. Yeah, yeah, and they, you know, they 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 love coming back, right? Um, yeah, especially if it has that kind of like you know that angle that that you know they they know the roots, yes. they know what it's about. I mean, yeah. you got to shout out. We all got to shout out Chris Lee though for a second because like yes. Chris went away and did his whole thing on the mainland, but then now he came back and he started the film school. Right. And they're pumping out a lot of really talented, up and coming directors, yeah. writers, producers out of Windward. Yeah. Um, at the film studio. I so. I always equate it to we have probably the best volleyball players in the world. Like if you look at the Olympic team, half the team is from Hawaii. True. We have some of the best football players uh, in the world. True. A lot of them go on to play professional. I, mean, I think we produce the more local college players than Texas when it comes to football. So why do we lose them all? How come UH University of Hawaii can't have a good team, right? <laughs> because they go away for a better education. But now we have, I think, because everyone's got their 
stripes you right. know guys like lee chris lee you guys all need to sit down and powwow or something. Mm. I don't know what it is to get that going. <laughs> well, you got to get Hollywood to jump on board. Diversity has been around here forever, yeah. but but I think you, I think still if a, a if guys like bucket. if Jason and Tia and Chris Lee and all these guys got together, the, Hollywood's not going to say no if yeah, you put out such a good are, product. Because they have been but you don't for need ho- but you don't need Hollywood is what I'm saying. Well, no, now now you don't. Yes. but like in the time, look when Jason was coming up, bro when. Back me up here. When he was coming up in the business, it was a co- it wasn't the golden age oh, of, of Asia like it of is course. now. There was no crazy rich of Asians. Course. There was no perspective from a pre- person of color's background. Yes, he pl- you played a what a Latino in your first born I know. in East born LA. In East LA. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. I mean, no one even believed Everything he was Asian. Like, yeah, come on. But but you get what I'm saying, <laughs> right? You get what I'm saying, right, Jason? Now's the time. Strike while yeah. the iron yeah. is hot. So what do we need to do? You want me to talk to somebody? <laughs> Yeah, Lena, ah, no, you just, should talk you know, to somebody. You know, to create content. Yeah. You know, yeah. Lo- locals need to create local content exactly. that, that is gripping, that is, is attractive, that, that has, you know, has a feeling, has, has yeah. feeling for, for, you know, things. I think there was a, the film. Oh, yeah, you just got the just Hawaii Film Festival. The Hawaii yeah. International Film yeah, Festival. Yeah. The best picture was Waikiki. Right. Yes. And that, that you know, uh, one of the guys I know, Pete Shinkoda, was in it. And um, I haven't seen it, but, you know, I heard good reviews on it. Yeah. And, 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 and I think it was a very visionary type of, you know, uh, take on it. Yeah. But it, I heard it did have some traditional um, uh, input into the film. So, uh, you know, th- you know, that's just Hawaiian yeah. th- cultural. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. You know, there's so much more. Um, you know, there, there's even the, the fact that the military has been there for so long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's so many stories, yeah, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. beyond that. The plantation look at, days you know, one is the best. There's like a secret installation in like, where is it, Hawaiian I yeah. or somebody like mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know. There's like so much of that stuff. Well, that, you, you got know, a lot where of. Was, where was Snowden working? Where was Ed Snowden working? <laughs> yeah. You know, it was like, Call where was it? Out. Yeah. You got a lot of know, you got man. a lot There's of work stuff. to do, Let Jason. You got a lot of work to do. Uh, <laughs> Let me let us know how we can help. <laughs> uh, do, so, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I think you, you always go into writing and think that, you know, you write what's closest to your heart. Yeah. Which, you know, even now, the indie, whole indie movement is just resonating with people with, with personal stories. Yeah. Yeah, so, but you were you know, indie. That, that's you, what I'll you were is. indie before indie was a thing. Like, that's the thing I love the most about you is like, you could go make Soldier and make a million dollars. And then in the next five minutes, you'd be like, I'm going to go do this other movie. And they'd yeah. be like, no, we really think you should make something that'll put your face on a lunchbox. And you're like, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm going to go make an indie film. Yeah, I'm. I'm I, 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 I'm not a good businessman in that sense. I don't make, <laughs> I I don't make, call. I don't make my business on dollars. I mean, I, I did it before and it never worked. Right. Right. I, I just didn't work did you take, did you I, take uh, drama in high school? I tried, you know, did you, but they wouldn't let me. <laughs> Why? I, had to, I had to fulfill my math credits. <laughs> so, calling out was Pearl City. Do me because that calling me. it out yeah, Pearl my, City High School. Calling it out. Horrible. Mine is too. <laughs> my math is the worst. I, it, it held me back from doing a lot of things. Did it? Yes, it did. Okay. Oh, so when was your when was your first acting thing? Uh, oh, oh, I remember. I went to Leeward Community College for one one year. When? Semesters. And I took uh, a stage class or something. And oh, it was really? Like, I think it was, a, it was some kind of drama class. I think it was drama class. And he told me to go home and, and, and learn learn a sonnet, go home and memorize it and bring it back to class. And I thought, I went home and I sat on my butt and I went, I had no idea what's a sonnet. <laughs> and, so, and so I, I deleted the class. I, I went nice. back to leave it and I canceled the class. I said, I have no idea what they're talking about. Well, oh. How am I supposed to let you do this? You know, it was just, you know, it was that lazy local boy kind of thing. You yeah. know, it's like, uh, oh, well, yeah, I didn't look, I look it up in the dictionary. You know, but... <laughs> Love it. That's no, so it funny. Is. Do you keep it, it, Jason? Do you keep in touch with the guys you grew up with? Yeah, yeah. yeah some, but you know how guys are though. It's like, I won't talk to them for five years. Yeah, yeah. I'll call them up. Hey, bro, can you go pick this up at the market for me? Yeah. And he go, yeah. What time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's Hawaii. That, that's you know, me and my friends too. That's Hawaii in a nutshell. You know, that's how guys, women are different. It's like they need that. Oh, it's Hawaii. It's like yeah. you know, I, I, you know, when we were building our place up here in the Big Island, you know, we we're trying to fill out furniture and stuff. I called this old friend of mine from like high school. Well, like, like, what is it? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> um, uh, our Lady of Good Counsel School. Dang. Days, like seventh grade. You know, and I call him and I say, Hey, bro. I was like. I saw this cool marble table. It's like a little, like, you know, coffee table thing on Craigslist. 
Um, it's over in Honolulu. Can you grab it for me and ship it for me? Oh, yeah, bro. Uh, what's the address? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cool? Like, I mean, that's, that's, yeah. that's how you know, that's a bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bro. Yeah. I said, my wife would really love it. Yeah. Aww. And he said, yeah, no problem. He said, just send me the money and, you know, and whatever. And I'll, you know, I'll pay for it. And just, you know, I'll let you know how much, it, yeah. how much I, I drew this guy down for. And then, uh, <laughs> no, no, Jay, Jay, that's a brother. Send me the money. Oh, you're not supposed to say that. Yeah, it's no, fine. That's, no, that's, that's a brother right there. Yeah, right. totally. See? Well, thank that's you so much for joining us today, man. This was a, I, I enjoyed this more than you guys. <laughs> I don't know so if you can much tell for being on the show buddy yeah do you ever come to honolulu at all <laughs> no. do you never come to honolulu uh no no, no? not right. if he can help it i know you know just yeah. stay, you know we're just staying put in, in the morning bubble, I mean, we, we moved your... back here from we were living in san diego for a couple of years and we moved back after when COVID hit i got hit by by the way by the way oh really back in march so like yeah. um you know after i got hit it was like uh let's let's kind of like uh better our chances yeah. and better our percentages of, of not getting it yeah. and move back to hawaii so we've been here about four months and okay. back home and, and you guys are there now and you guys are going to stay stick close you're going to be on volcano for a while for now yeah. you know and that's the thing you know at first it was like oh my goodness homeschooling you know online schooling and then now it's like hey that actually gives us a lot of freedom, freedom. to kind of go where we want, yeah. when we want. You don't have to be in a school, nope. yeah. be locked in, and you know. And now you're looking at boats. You know, I now I know you yeah, well I enough mean, to know you. I know you and Diana. You guys are looking at boats now. You're gonna be like, oh, look at that boat. Let's get that sailing trip around the world happening. You know, I gotta rev up the gardens. Oh, there you go. See. I, I gotta rev up the gardens. I gotta, you know, gotta get things going again, and um, you know, teach my kids some biology in the garden. He's got full blown low ease. Like I'm not even. Joking. I want to come visit your uh, full garden blown one day. low ease in the front. Of that I, 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 yeah, I want to come visit your your taro patch one day. <laughs> it used to be good. We were gone away. We were gone too long. It used to be nice. Uh, yeah, you get it up and running. Well. Give you like a month. You have that thing purring like yeah. a kitten. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be a dumb question, but are you on social media or not? No. Okay. <laughs> I was going to tell everybody to follow you, but... I don't have time. I no, like, let, time. Let's, like, let's, da, 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 da. let's be clear. He does have an Instagram account. Uh -huh. He's just not participating in it. So is somebody <laughs> else doing it? No, I think you set it up. You just don't post. Oh, okay. My my wife does oh, it. Okay. My wife really does it from time to time. Okay. But And then, you know, it's between... Life. Taking care of the baby yeah. and changing diapers. And it's like, you know what? They take a lot of time. Yeah. yeah. But it is your Instagram account. They take a lot of time. It is yeah. his Instagram Yeah, that's my, yeah. yeah, that's my account. That's his real account. It's just. Uh, yeah, you, we never get the time. Yet. Unless it's like, you know, like when we were building up to Milan and the release of it. Right. Uh -huh. um, you know, we did a lot. We were trying to, you know, do that. But now it's like when there's no projects lo looming. Right. And then, and then when you know, the Hawaii like movie, movie you just did, when that starts to rev up, then you guys will. Yeah, let me know. We'll let me know, Jason, stuff, if we can yeah. audition, okay? I'd love to audition for your movie. <laughs> Um, okay. But thank you so much for being on the show. I, we're very proud of you. I'm proud of you, brother. I and, miss you guys. Uh, thank you, brother. Yeah, you, Give my love to Diana, yeah, please. Yeah. I'm take, the kids. I will. You take care, okay? <laughs> Bye. Okay, mahalo, guys. Aloha. Jason Scott yeah. Lee, love ladies you. and gentlemen. It's a